Are you going to Disney and you have no idea what to take because you don't have a stroller to just shove all your stuff in? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything I took on my latest trip with my husband, just the two of us, so we didn't have a stroller. I'm gonna show you what's in my park bag and how I used it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Burns and this is Beauty and the Burns where I talk all about travel tips, tricks, and hacks with your little ones and sometimes without them. Travel planning, Disney planning, Disney vlogs. So if that sounds like content you would like, I would love for you to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video drops. So let's get into the bag. This is the bag that I took. This is the gray stuff. It's the color is gray stuff. Um, and this is the rope drop bag by designer park company. So one of the things that I love most about this bag is that it comes with a hydration system and this is going to come out the back side of the bag and you just use it with a regular water bottle. And I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but it just comes out here and then you can put it on either the left side or the right side and it's going to come down these two ends. And then it has, this orange magnetic clip. So I clipped it at the bottom and then it's so easy. You can just pop it off, drink, and then while you're walking, you just pop it back on. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, pulling a water bottle out, taking your bag off to get your water. Uh, it's such an easy way to stay hydrated. So now let's move on to the rest of the bag and I'll show you exactly where you put your water bottle because it goes inside. It's a pretty cool feature. So starting on the outside of the bag, Number one, I have hand sanitizer. I also have this cute little Mickey fan that I got from Amazon and all of these things that I can link, I will link below in the description. This one's super cute because it comes with this ring on the back so you can just slide your finger in. It has three different speeds. It's so good. The um, other thing on the other side you'll notice is this thing. And this was just for me to hold my phone so that I could vlog. Um, and it has this really nice hand grip. Then I think this is one of the, probably the two features that people really enjoy about this bag is it has a spot to hold your ears. I, mean, I don't typically wear ears, but I did bring them for a few photos and it's just cute to have on my bag. <laughs> There's also this spot down here for pins and they do send you with 10 locking pins. You can also buy locking pins. Um, also at Disney parks, you can also get them from designer park company if you want to. So that was a cute feature. You can like display your pins. Okay. So now I'm going to take you guys into the big section. I took my ears off just so it was a little bit easier. I'm going to take you guys in here so I can show you what I have. So number one is I have a hat. Um, obviously I wear glasses and so sometimes the uh, sun just gets really, really bright in my face. And so wearing a hat is helpful. I also have a visor that sometimes I would switch out. So I just throw that in. Now, if I didn't have my ears, they definitely can fit on here and then they just hang out if you're not using them. The other thing I have in here are my sunglasses. So if I were just outside and it was super sunny, maybe I didn't want to wear my hat, I could switch out to my sunglasses. I also have a battery bank. At Disney, you are going to run through your phone battery so fast. Between Genie Plus, just taking photos, you're gonna be on your phone a significant amount of time, so I highly recommend it. This one's really cool. I got it on Amazon. It comes in a case. Everything you need is attached. This is how you charge it, and it's built in, so that's awesome. And then it also has all these different cables attached right in, so you're never fumbling like, oh my gosh, did I forget the cable that I need for this? It has everything you need. It has micro USB, a lightning adapter for like an iPhone, and a USB-C charger. All of those are already at um, attached. It does also have a spot here on the bottom. This little one over here is how you could charge it if you didn't want to like plug it into the wall or maybe it didn't fit wherever you were trying to do that. And then this one, you could use um, a traditional cord if you had that. Maybe you wanted to charge two things at once. All right, I promise we're getting close to the water situation. But first I wanna share with you my bag. So this is like my mommy park bag. Um, this bag specifically is one of the snack bags from Itsy Ritzy. It was in their After Dark collection like four years ago, I think, three or four years ago. I don't know if they still have it anymore, um, but in here you can see all sorts of things. So this first thing is a reusable straw. 
Um, the straws in <laughs> at Disney are paper and I am not a fan of paper straws. So I travel with this. I like that it comes in its own case. It keeps it clean. This is great. Like this is a must have, whether you're going by yourself or with your kids, always bring one of these straws. Um, okay, what else do I have in here? I have an individual water wipe. I have an extra package of soft lips. This is the lip balm that I prefer to use. And so I just had this one lying around and stuck it in there. Body glide. Okay, chafing happens, especially if you are a little bit bigger. You know, sometimes you gotta make sure that things just aren't chafing. It's not always fun. So anyway, have this, this is the smaller version deodorant. Nobody wants to be near a smelly person at Disney World or at Disneyland. No one, you don't want to be the smelly person. Bring some extra deodorant. Go to the bathroom halfway through, freshen up, put this on. You're like, like you will thank me. Please bring the deodorant. It seems excessive, but it's not. A Tide pen, spills happen. If you're anything like me or my husband, spills happen, not just for toddlers. Dramamine, this is not only for the flight, but some of the rides um, I get motion sickness on. So Remy, for whatever reason, I get really nauseous on Remy. Um, and then I also heard prior to going that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind can kind of make you nauseous. So I made sure to take Dramamine on our Epcot day and it really helped. I still did get, did get nauseous on Remy though. I don't think I'm gonna ride that ride anymore. Let me know down in the comments, is there a ride that like you just have no desire to ride anymore? Like you just don't want to ride it. It is not your cup of tea. Let me know. For me, that's Remy. Like I just, I can't do it. I just can't. Now for nausea, this is something that I found after I had surgery one time because I get nauseous after surgery, um, but it is called Queez Ease. Let me see if I can, there we go, Queez Ease. And this is in the soothing sense. Um, it smells so good. It's peppermint, spearmint, lavender, and ginger essential oils. It's for inhalation only. You don't put it on your skin. You just smell it. So I always have a little bag of my migraine medication and my anti-nausea medication um, because again, I just tend to get nauseous when I have migraines. So I really try to kind of prevent all of those things. And we want to be prepared. Uh, this bottle is pampering, right? So, um, you know, if you're expecting your cycle, but it also did have Tylenol in here, right? Make it, make it work for you. You know, we don't need to be taking up extra space. Bring Tylenol, Advil, some sort of pain reliever. You might get a headache. You might, it's, it's Disney guys. You're gonna be sore. Like I'm just telling you, your body is going to be sore. Like we walked on our Epcot day, it was day two. We walked over 20, I think it was like 27,000 steps. That's a lot. I don't typically walk 27,000 steps in a day. I don't know what you guys are doing. That's not typically me. So um, I have a couple of feminine hygiene products. Again, you never know when nature's gonna come calling. Um, I have a pair of contacts in here. I don't typically wear my contacts, but if I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that I had them. Also, if something should happen to my glasses, I wanted to make sure that I could still see. So I had a pair of contacts in there. And then this bag has the locking clips and then the traditional like Disney clips for the pins. So I kept this in here. One last thing was an extra sanitizer. This is actually the original one. And then on our flight home, I went ahead and changed them because I just didn't know like how much was left in here. So it's everything in this like mommy bag. So I would use this on the flight and um, in the parks as well. Okay, now we're at the moment. Now you can see what's down in here. So there, I always had three water bottles. Like I would start the day with three. So I would lay one down, you can see down on the bottom. And then these other two, there's these pockets. I can fold this down. Okay, so there's these two pockets on the back. You can put two water bottles in. I would always, have it like that. That's how I would go into the park with three water bottles. The thing I will say about the hydration system, something to note, okay. When we got there, we had, I placed an order at Target the morning we were leaving. We had a rental car and so then we stopped off and got our stuff. Well, the water that we got had like this little tiny top. Well, this, so this red piece is if you have like a bigger cap, and then you can take this off and it'll fit like a traditional, like this kind of diameter cap. 
Well, the problem is that this has too many threads. Like this doesn't have enough threads if I were to take this off. So thankfully I had gone to the airport and I had a bottle of water and it was this size. So I would just, and, and it fits on here. So that's kind of the only thing to keep in mind. You may need to on your first day if it's not, if like you or, did a grocery order and it was this kind. You might wanna go to um, quick service or to one of the shops, get a regular size bottle of water um, and stick it in. And then I would just refill that one bottle with my other bottles, if that makes sense, because that was the only way that it would fit. So that's everything in that back section. Now we're gonna move into the middle section. So you can see in here, it's pretty cool. There's, it's pretty deep. And then there's two little pockets like on this side, so towards the front. So we'll start there. So in one little pocket, the little brush, my hair um, gets really tangled when it's windy. So I like to brush my hair, that's just me. I also had a small can of dry shampoo. My hair gets really oily very fast. And so about halfway through, I'd go in to the restroom and I would just put a little bit of dry shampoo in, scrunch it through, put on the deodorant, like just kind of refresh because we weren't going back to our hotel. So we were there for two and a half days and we were we were getting the stuff done. So we were not taking time to go back to our hotel. We were exhausted. I'm actually still exhausted. And it's like five days later. <laughs> um, and then I also, in one of those pockets, I did put an air tag just in case I lost my bag, I could find it. I've already taken that out and that's like put away, but that is something that I had in here. Um, another thing I had was, oh, starting to open, is a small umbrella. Um, it rains at Disney, guys. Don't be like me. You'll see in day three, John and I got stuck in a rainstorm. We had our umbrellas with us for the first half of the day. And then when we went to Magic Kingdom in the evening, we were like pulling stuff out that we didn't really need. And the forecast kept pushing the rain chance out like further into the night. So we thought, oh, we're fine. We took our umbrellas out. No, y'all, we got stuck in a rainstorm. We were drenched, drenched through. Speaking of rain, I also have like a small emergency poncho that I got for like a dollar. I also didn't use this clearly. Don't be like me. <laughs> the other thing I have is a cooling towel. Y'all, I have the ones from Amazon. This one clearly is not from Amazon because for whatever reason, Mickey has some sort of super duper magic. This works so much better than the ones from Amazon. If you don't wanna pay $18 plus tax, I don't blame you, but I did times three because these just work so much better. Again, I suffer from migraines. Sometimes it's just really hot. Sometimes even when it's not that hot, my body just feels really hot. So I always have this with me. I do keep it in a Ziploc bag in case it's wet. Um, it's not gonna get everything else wet. The last thing I have in this middle section is an extra pair of socks. Now, if it rains, if you step in a puddle, whatever, and your socks get wet, that just freaks me out. Like, I just can't do that. That's a recipe for disaster. That is a recipe for a blister. I am not trying to go there. So I always have an extra pair of socks. So that's everything in those first two. And now I'm gonna go into the little baby pocket, like the little front pocket. Okay, and here I have hand lotion. Can't stand when my hands are dry. It will just drive me crazy. I have my AirPods. You know, sometimes if I get overstimulated, I just need to pop them in and listen to some music or if we were like walking somewhere, just sitting down, wanted to like watch a video, just kind of like zone out and just decompress because Disney can be very overstimulating even for adults. So I had those an extra hair tie, a lens cloth. Again, I wear glasses, I wear sunglasses. My husband wears glasses and sunglasses, so that was a necessity. And then again, another water wipe. Um, this actually really did come in handy. My husband cut himself getting off of Remy's. Neither of us knows like how that happens. Um, I don't actually in here, I should, but I don't have any band-aids. That was something that my husband carried. And so I just quickly like opened this up, ripped it out and just like, squeezed his finger, grabbed his little first aid kit and put it up. All right, we're getting down. I only have two things left.
tissues. You never know what you need in tissue and a wallet. This is now empty, but this is just like a super tiny wallet. So I typically use the Wally case, which looks like this, and it's really awesome. You can put cards in here. So I usually have like two credit cards and my ID. It has um, like a finger holder thing. <laughs> um, it can also be a phone stand. It's a great, great, great case. I love it. The problem is when I'm using this, it doesn't really wanna fit into here. So I had a separate case and then I just put my room key, um, my cards, my ID, everything that I needed in here and just kept it in the bag. So that is everything that I bring with me in my bag when I'm not with my kid. And stay tuned because in an upcoming video, I'm gonna have everything that I bring when I'm with my toddler in the diaper bag and on the stroller. So thanks so much for joining me today and I hope you guys have a magical day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.